Welcome to Make the New Guy 4. Uh, anti pack playing Sid Meier's Elf Centauri, Alien Crossfire, Conquering the Planet Cult, Conquering the Planets. And you join me, and you join us uh, here at um, looking into, with our uh, planetary, planetary uh, government, looking into the, um, the uh, Data Angels cities. And as you can see, there is uh, all semblance of order and civilization is fast breaking down as the, the population and the government as a whole uh, are in a state of panic at the, uh, at the um, on oncoming uh, cultist planet, cultist forces. Horrors of the atrocities being committed at, uh, at Secret Hollow by the by the uh, fanatical uh, by the fanatical troops is causing uh, causing a panic as uh, all all forms all. Forms of all semblance of government and order is uh, is breaking down around them. All uh, all forms to uh, all, all attempts to make coordinated defence are uh, are met with frustration and ultimate destruction, and. Um, it's a bad time to be a data angel. A data angel. They're um, they're, they're struggling to cope with the idea of not being uh, the, the uh, an ally of the planet cult anymore, um, and they're they they're just struggling. There's they had no time to collect the thoughts, um, no time to plot out a new diplomatic uh, course. There is no di new diplomatic course because there's nobody other than me. What they find is they've gone from being the most favoured nation to part of the axis of evil uh, within a uh, such a short period of time. But diplomatically, they've got no idea. Economically, they're uh, they're suffering from the closing of the borders and the uh, breakdown of trade. Um, their people are disorientated and confused and uh, rioting on the streets. As, as somebody's got to be the blade, got to be to blame, and. Uh, a successful uh, propaganda by the planet cult has managed to blame it largely on the government for a series of faux pas and um, insufficient uh, loyalty to loyalty to the uh, to planet. And if you think that sounds a bit Machiavellian, well, that's that's because it is, I suppose. I say all standing armies are being uh, being bombed from above and uh, leaving the cities uh, ripe for capture. As soon as as soon as the ground forces catch up, I say rather uh, rather enthusiastic uh, rather enthusiastic enthusiastic forces. Uh, all semblance of um, order in the invading armies is starting to break down as um, excited troops kind of. Rush over the border. Meanwhile, at the Hermitage, uh, the, um, the sages there have no no time for such uh, such frivolity. They're moving forward at a uh, a fairly uh, sort of a, a careful expansion over the geothermal shallows. Is uh, yielding positive results year on year. Hmm, very nice. Although a problem for the future is that the um, the, the uh, geothermal shallows they are um, they're, they're, they're Kind of, um, they've got a finite amount of um, a finite amount that can be can be harvested, and all f all future um, harvesting is being made from the, the uh, less productive areas from uh, around the um, uh, around the geothermal shallows.
as uh, an empire-wide push to uh, get the conflicts settled up as quickly as possible. For a five four, despite the, the the fanaticism and the stunning successes that's been uh, they've been uh, they've encountered across two oceans, two continents, uh, the the planet cult is fairly is quite exhausted by the effort. Uh, they're finding that the uh, the populace is um, struggling with the uh, they're, they're battling on um, valiantly, but they're kind of they're starting to struggle under the under the strict rationing system imposed by the planned economy. So there's a uh, a very real sense that um, there's a very real sort of uh, call from. Um, from below and also uh, at, at the top to uh, get the war over as quickly as possible before fatigue strikes and uh, fighting f effectiveness is uh, is reduced. So an intensive bombing campaign is underway. And in many cases, uh, caution has been thrown to the wind, thrown into the wind in the uh, uh, in in, um, in its place. Uh, haste and speed are the order of the day. The idea being to uh, strike while the uh, while the uh, data angels are disorganised and unable to form a coherent defence. A useful technology to have at this point would be drop pods in which you could sort of land a couple of units uh, in which to um, from from which to sort of just drop down into the into the bases and take them from above. But such technology is in the in the far future. However, some seers in the Hermitage um, did have a vision of such a thing happening uh, one day in the future. It was it was summarily executed for suggesting that there might be a need for weapons in the future, but it was it was an interesting interesting thought nonetheless. Actually, that's not entirely true. We are a democracy, so it was, it was granted a, it was granted a fair trial before being found uh, before being found guilty and executed. Uh, bad. By a jury that was made up of uh, religious fanatics who were told that the seer had uh, betrayed planet. Because that's what I'm like. And um, well, meanwhile, the um, engineers, as opposed to the scientists at the Hermitage, um, well, engineers have decided to um, investigate the idea. Uh, along with empaths, of a, a dream twister to provide PSI defence. And in the uh, that, that's uh, the final throes of the uh, of the war, see. Uh, a constant, relentless uh, aerial bombardment. And a 
attempt to um, just take out of the, these these bases as quickly as possible. The rather ruthless measures of putting down resistance and inter even internal dissent um, is rather striking at the heart of democracy that's been been established in the uh, in the planet cult and uh, has a, has a long history. Of course, it's hard. It's hard to maintain maintain the democracy while um, while also pursuing an empire. The, um, the the sheer size and the um, diversity of the sheer size of the borders and the diversity of the people within the borders make um, make representative government quite difficult, uh, particularly where tensions exist within the borders. These are these are problems for after the war, and it's going to be a uh, it, it'll be an interesting um, an interesting period as uh, as the planet cult has to, has to ask itself who is it and what does it want. Uh, I believe now I've got the troops in position. I'm ready for the final blow now. Well, before I do, it's time to uh, time to keep up with the uh, with Hermitage. Set home city. <sighs> the uh, captain of that will be summarily executed, of course, naturally. <laughs> now, that, that, that's not fair, I take full responsibility for that, uh, but I won't be summarily executed. That's uh, a start turn, so turn complete. And it looks like I just won't have time to finish it all off in this um, in this episode. But really, the, the single-mindedness of the administration towards the conquest of the world is actually causing a, um, a sort of huge lack of interest in the welfare of the uh, citizens of the cult. But I uh, really, really don't mind. And actually, um, actually, because we're coming up to the five-minute mark, the uh, the Shah Rover, the Thirteenth uh, Regiment of the Mindworm Spore, uh, will be uh, waiting outside, and you'll have to join us. Um, Join us next time for the uh, for the for the finale, the final capture of Data D Central, uh, and uh, the uniting of the human race under the um, under the cult of planets. Join me again next time for the end. <laughs>